Hello everybody, X Joe 81X. And on the tubes today, an RCA Space Saver television. Now that looks like about five and a half inches of screen and about seven inches of plastic. I do not know if this was advertised for the plastic or the screen, but anyway, before we plug it in, this is a portable TV. Take your handle, bring it around, plug it in, plug it out. Manufactured July of 1989. Wow. Here's the model number and all the power information. Here's the plastic stuff, some extra stickers. It sits down or it goes up to that point. Here is uh, on, I mean off TV radio, UHF, volume high, volume low, AM, FM, and the volume, and then the uh, the stuff VHS VHF and the UHF we'll get to the side in a second this has a focus flathead for the TV the back we'll just kind of the antenna has seen better days usually that's what happens there was probably more to it, and then it snapped into this plastic thing. But what's cool is the sticker back here. Wow, back in the day, right? Battery cover sticker. I just cleaned this thing. It took D batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And they says that it was recharge bat. There was another compartment in there. So ten batteries. Just get a little better shot of that. Batteries were one point five volts D size. This thing with the D batteries in it was extremely heavy. I'll get to this in a second, but damn, damn, huh? Watch. Damn. You know what I guys, you know what I'm talking about? This was effing used. Look at that. Look at that. That this was used. We'll get into the story later. Let me just show. We have an external antenna, a degauss button, which is some button on off ATF and your typical TV function which is tint color bright contrast V hold and they actually put in your phone here is the speaker you can see all these tons of vents there's the power cord for 120 volts and then 12 volts C manual for adapter use there was a little thing here probably was an adapter use <laughs> and then the antenna goes in and swivels I want to discuss something with you guys see the back of this black piece see all the white specks see all that up and down in and out um there's also white specks on this thing. One sec. See that? White specks. See that a lot on the top? These devices were my father's. 
I didn't make a video. I didn't discuss it. <clears throat> I'm not going to discuss it. Uh, there's only one person on YouTube, maybe two, that understand that unfortunately my father passed away November 21st, 2015. Um, thank you uh, for your condolences. Don't worry about it. Please don't write it in. I appreciate it. It's okay. Things happen. Like I said, I'm not going to get into the story and you will, um, there will be no video. That's why uh, over the last couple of years, there might be some old stuff surfacing as uh, different things get cleaned out, different things get shifted left, right, up and down. And me being the son, I have taken possession of some of the cooler things. Um, and if you've been watching my videos in the last two years, there's been radios like I just showed you, the solid state. There's this beautiful TV in front of us. And there might be one or two other things coming about in the next couple of months. There's another old TV, there's a grinder. So anyway, without further ado, I digress. This is going to be the uh, quick, um, the, there's no TV, what, analog anymore. So what I'm going to do is try to position the camera, I'm trying to get you guys the best view. We'll start with the radio because that's, and then we'll go up to the way to the TV. Um, JK18 is not here right this second. If I can make this TV work and broadcast something, we'll make a secondary video. So uh, let me plug this in. Okay. Let's chooch this on. We'll start with the radio. This is V low. V high and UHF, AM, FM, we'll go to that second, and the tuner. Everything needs to be touched, ever so slightly. Come on. That's the radio. Um, the touch upon before is this, this TV, I don't know when it was purchased as far as other than the date on the back. It could have been sitting on a shelf or a garage sale. Uh, I personally know that things like, uh, things like this were a dime a dozen. You could go to Walmart, Kmart, Pergamons, Home Depot, whatever. You could rip this right off the shelf with a box, who knows how much it was, you know, the power of the internet, internet will probably tell you how much it was, maybe 60, 70 bucks, maybe a buck 25, who knows, um, I don't remember it in a sense where, where it was, uh, the tuning knob, this thing was used, um, what I do remember is this was the very first kitchen TV, this sat on top of the microwave and just played whatever channel came in with the antenna, just enough for ambient background noise slash TV. This sat on top of the microwave like probably half my childhood until other TVs came about. This might have been used as a radio. This might have been used as something in the garage. I don't know. I absolutely never played with it. It sat in the garage um, pretty much from like the early 90s after it probably superseded its concept of being used or un unless somebody some uh, you know some other thing replaced it because it was bigger and better so we'll turn the tv on get that nice white snow we'll go through the uh Sometimes something wants to come in. I touch the antenna. Really nothing. Like I said, maybe there's a way to broadcast something. Change the channels. AM, FM don't matter. Pretty cool, huh? We'll go up. 
still turns. I'm sure there's an old string in here. That's it. Shoot it right back down to the radio. TV screen shuts off. AM. Play with the volume button. Looks like everything works to me. This is a quick um, review on the RCA Space Saver ACDC Color TV. Any questions, comments, concerns, or anything future I could get this thing to do? I'll, uh, you know, make an extra video. Hit like, hit subscribe, and thanks for watching, and keep your old stuff. Keep it. I cleaned it up, the knobs come off, you know, the, uh, um, you run it, um, I'm sure, if you have a dishwasher, you could take it apart, but I got a scrub brush, I cleaned all the little nooks and crannies, the, the white now is white, and it's not, uh, yellowed, because remember, this sat in the garage for quite some time, but... Anyway, thank you again for watching.